What's going on guys and gals? My name is Shadox and welcome to SITREP where we go over the latest news and updates regarding Battlefield 5. The July 4.2 update patch notes were just released by community manager Adam Freeman. The link to the forum thread will be in the pinned comment as well as in the description below. This week's patch aims to fix some of the major issues plaguing Battlefield 5 at the moment as well as some other tweaks, buffs and nerfs to a few weapons. So what's new? Probably the biggest update is in regards to the Invisible Soldier glitch. DICE is confident that they have fixed the vast majority of the issues that would cause a soldier to not render correctly on a player's screen. The patch notes does not specify that this was completely fixed, so there may be a few small instances, but hopefully these will be either extremely rare or hardly noticeable. Personally, this was one of the most frustrating aspects for playing Battlefield at the moment, and I'm hoping that this fix proves effective. Next up, the PO8 pistol carbine has had its recoil reduced and muzzle velocity increased to buff its mid-range effectiveness. The PO8 did already have low recoil to begin with, with an initial vertical recoil of 1 degree that was reduced to 0.85 degrees and a max vertical recoil of 0.95 degrees, down from the previous 1.1 degrees per shot. The muzzle velocity has also been increased from 370 meters per second to 420 meters per second. And to put this into perspective, this reduces the travel time of the bullet to 50 meters by 1 60th of a second, or one game tick. These changes will make the PO8 a bit more useful at those mid-range engagements, making an already great choice for an aggressive recon even better. The PO8 has also had its specializations fixed. As before, some players, including myself, were unable to select anything beyond the first two levels of specializations, and this resulted in me delaying my episode of the Armory reviewing the PO8 carbine. I'm looking forward to using this weapon again and seeing what it is really capable of. The PO8 isn't the only weapon receiving changes, however. The Lewis gun has had its error sight fixed for anybody using the extended magazine, and the Mark VI revolver is having its max rate of fire reduced from 200 rounds per minute to 180. This isn't a massive change, but now the two-shot kill times are increased by 33 milliseconds. This will put it a touch slower than most submachine guns. However, if you can still land the headshot, it is still an instant kill. Another big change for the game is in regards to Firestorm, where now if you down an enemy and that player disconnects from the match, you will now be awarded that kill as well as their loot. Let's quickly fire through some of the other bug changes to get an idea of what's coming this week. The game will no longer stutter when killing enemies with tanks. DICE has removed an unintended suppression effect that was being applied to infantry soldiers whenever a tank fired its main cannon. The screen will no longer turn black when you fire a stationary cannon. The crosshair will now show correctly for all loadouts of the Mosquito FB Mark VI. The loadout screen will now display the correct amount of bombs for the JU-88 in your company, and players will no longer be stuck at the deploy screen when they try to spawn in an airplane. There's not a whole lot this week, but there are some good fixes nonetheless, especially the fix for the Invisible Soldiers. Hopefully this patch will be stable and not introduce anything new, because it's getting extremely frustrating dealing with the constant issues. One final note about this update, Marita is scheduled to go live next week pending some final QA. This infantry focused map was a ton of fun to play at EA Play. I can't wait to play it again in Normal Conquest with all of you. And that's all for today. My name is Shadox, and I hope to see you on the battlefield. <laughs>